Robin goes on to say, in maybe our second or third session, my husband and I brought up some sexual issues connected to different interests with kink. This is partially why we wanted a secular therapist. We needed someone sex positive and assumed our best bet was with someone who didn't explicitly put Christian on their Psychology Today profile. Let's just say her poker face needed work. Her overall message... (laughs) I love that. Yeah. I wish I could see that. I wish I could see that. (laughs) I know, me too. Her overall message to us was indeed relevant and helpful. Okay. So was indeed relevant and helpful. More appreciation for the good aspects and less doing things we don't really want to do. The sad thing was I could tell she was trying not to be shaming, but she was so bad at it. I remember a (laughs) specific... She's trying though. She's trying. She's trying. Yeah, I got to give it to her. I remember a specific thing she said (laughs) that was trying to be empathizing slash validating with some of the kink one of us wanted. And I remember after her initial shock of when we first brought up sex issues that it looked like she tried to keep her face under control. She was just clearly out of her element. I feel bad for her now, the therapist. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like she was trying and like. She should have just like. I don't packed know. It up and said, all right. Good meeting with you. I don't think I'm the right We're therapist done. for you. That would probably be the best thing is, look, yeah. I don't think I can help you out. Um, I've had, now that I'm working with adults, I've had a couple of adult clients bring up sexual stuff, right? And like. I, that's not something I specialize mm-hmm. in. I've never worked well, like sexual issues I have. And this actually has to do with what's coming up. I have zero training, like specifically in like treating or helping somebody with sexual issues. And uh, so it's like, you know, mm-hmm. I, I tell them flat out, like, I don't think it's something I'd be able to work with you on. If there's some emotional stuff around that, we could talk about that. But something like this, I'd be like, I don't think I'm the right person for you. I think that would be the best thing to do. I think I I do want to kind of give the therapist a little bit of credit because she was really trying. I think (laughs) I shouldn't laugh, but I think in in my (laughs) well, in my training, both in school and like gaining experience, like as a baby clinician, as a baby therapist, like like gaining experience. One of the big things that I learned and, and was actively taught is look like you need to be okay with all of it. You need to learn to to say the words that the the clients will say to to go to the place that the clients will go. Except for for sure, there's going to be some of those things. You know, we we all have our own personal stuff. You know, be it religion related or or whatever beliefs, what whatever kind of thing. If as long as it's not a giant red flag for us, you, like you have to get used to saying. All the words, all the things, all oh, like wrap yeah. your mind around that and learn how to be nope. neutral and accepting and and listening. And it sounds like this. Like I said, I was trying to give her credit because she was trying. Was but if you can't do it, then don't do it. If you if you can't absorb information without reacting in a you know you know what what's the word? That's I'm exactly for? it. You you have you have what? to use the safety word at that point. The therapist has to use the safety word. They have to say, banana, banana. <laughs> Are you taking this out? Yeah, I might not. That's pretty... <laughs> you threw me that off, really... man, and I'm already thrown off because I can't see your oh, face. Sorry. That actually really works because, I mean, the whole king thing, safety word, the therapist should be able to say, platypus, no, I get I'm it. out. I'm out. I get it. I was like trying to make a point. Now I don't even remember I'm what sorry, I was saying. Yeah. It just popped in my mind. That was perfect. That's your fault. Yeah. So let's get back. I, I got us off track with uh, safety words. Let's, let's get back here. That's right. You did. <laughs> I was in the middle of something and I don't even know if I I know. My, I'm sorry. We had uh, technical issues. We'll get, yes. so let, me, let me go back a couple sentences. I remember a specific thing she said that was trying to trying to be empathizing slash validating with, with some of the kink one of us wanted and i remember after her initial shock of when we first brought up sex sex issues that it looked like she tried to keep her face under control 
she was just clearly out of her element. So we were kind of talking about, you know, if you're not comfortable with it, either be prepared for stuff mm-hmm. that's going to come up. Or I was recommending just kind of tap out and say, I don't think I can really help you with this. Yes. Okay. Yes. I would say <laughs> that something like this, I send my assessments out ahead of time to give people a chance to fill them, you know, virtually just to provide mm-hmm. whatever information, information they want. And that way I can look at it ahead of time and say, uh, I don't know if I'd be a really good fit for what you're looking for. Yes. So that, that would be another good, I mean, even before coming in the room and doing all this, um, to yeah, because then, sorry for interrupting. No. I think then you'd have, as as the therapist, then you'd have a little bit of a heads up, like, oh, they want to do this and this and this, as far as like, you know, treatment topics. Um, and this one is something I'm uncomfortable with. And then you can have a transparent conversation with them during the informed consent piece and say, you know what, I, right. you know, I don't think this is like, I don't think I can help you with this piece of it. It, that would just be the right thing to do the ethical thing to do because then in the future in treatment you don't want to be having to control your face unsuccessfully and giving the impression that you know yeah it's not okay something's wrong you know yeah and that's totally okay yeah yeah but we, we don't have to know everything as therapists like it's completely okay to say i don't well, know if i can help you yeah and we have to know our limits because yeah. understanding our limits as therapists is just a different way of taking care of the client because if I can't help you, someone else can. And and I want you to have that help. Unless it's in a contract that you can't see anybody else. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> and then you're I'm the my only client. therapist you're allowed to see. <laughs> Mm-mm. Hey, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I, of course, have a lot more stuff here on YouTube, but I also have even more on my website. It's justinlmft.com. I have a blog. I have a podcast. I have free resources. And I have some uh, paid courses as well. Head on over to justinlmft.com. I think you'll like it a lot. This and other content I create is not therapy, not intended to be therapy or be a replacement for therapy. Nothing in this creates or indicates a therapeutic relationship. Please consult with your therapist or seek for one in your area if you are experiencing mental health symptoms. Nothing should be understood to be specific life advice. It is for educational and entertainment purposes only.